Meghan Markle here. Today is May 22nd, 2023. It is 1.06 a.m. So I was going to Twitter to see what was some good discussions to share with you. I came up with 10 tweets, but I'm sure later on in the day, there will be more, uh, you know, important things going on because this is early in the hours of the day. So nothing much. So let's go on Twitter. All right, because right now I should be editing the second video on uh, May 20th. And I have tomorrow's, uh, I, mean, I mean, not tomorrow's, yesterday's tweet to edit as well. So on the 20th, I did uh, two videos. And then, um, but anyway, let's get going. Okay, so I saw this and uh, it just uh, made me wonder, what could have been, you know, how Megan, knowing how Megan is, the type of person she is due to her work ethic and not to be overshadowed people, even though uh, uh, the, the tabloid keep on saying their nonsense, but Megan is a good person to work with because we would have never known, okay? We would have never known the mediocre that's over there, okay? Only if they had accepted her and, uh, you know, just let her be. I mean, I'm not saying for her to take over. I don't think she came to do that. Well, but with that said, for me, it's very important to, once you hit the ground running, even if you're doing it quietly behind the scenes, which is what I've focused my energy on thus far, is meeting with the right people, meeting with the right organizations behind the scenes quietly, learning as much as I can so that I can maximize the opportunity we have here to really make an impact. But we saw the cookbook, the smart work, and all the things she's done over there uh, calmly and very effectively, knowing the fact that they, probably, they hated that, that she did that. Meanwhile, this is what they, uh, they were supposed to do for receiving taxpayers' money. But the thing is that if they had accepted her and they worked with her, we will never know the mediocre within them. All right, so let's read some of the comments. Okay, Kate could have really tried harder. She really could have been the bigger person. None of this would have happened. She could have ended all of this by extending her hand to support, but ego really took over. Whoever did this image, it looks like some sort of a, a painting kind of thing. Let's see. Yeah, whoever did that did a pretty good job. It's actually the, uh, uh, something looks, never mind. I'm not a, 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 a portrait artist for me to criticize. The, you know, it looks really good. This actually look better than some of the pictures that uh, Kate usually put out. Yep things that could have been they could have worked together very well we would never know the laziness that happened over there similar to when harry went to the uh, obama foundation where melody hapson was uh, interviewing him and uh, when they asked who came up with the idea in two separate occasions she asked him he didn't say okay you started a charity my first question would be do we need another charity so, you know, what, what was your thinking in, in coming together? Whose idea was this? So that's, a, um, our, our, my motto is exactly that. Why, why another charity? Our specific to them. But what we were able to do is bring everybody together once again around the table and say, right, you're now part, part of a group. You're part of something. And therefore, anybody that comes in gets the, op the opportunity or the option of 12 of you rather than one of you. Whose idea was this? I mean, who was it? You or... Prince William or the Royal Foundation. Yeah. Can't even remember. But But we know, 
Okay, we know it's Harry's ideas for all of this. Look at it. Since they left, they haven't done anything. But instead, they've consumed their energy on bashing them. Okay, so let's see. Extending grace and mercy can only come from those that have it inside. That is not something she has inside. Correct. It's required vulnerability. It requires seeing Meghan Marco as human being who is capable of being vulnerable. Kate refused to do that, and that is evil. Eh? Th this is why now the world gets to see the mediocrity that's over there. They're lazy. They don't want to do anything. They love to pretend. They lie. They cheat. They do all sort of things. So people get to see their vulnerability. When they were, when Harry and Meghan were over there, we would have never known how lazy these people are. Because all the good work Harry and Meghan were doing could have easily extend to them. As if they were part of it. But no, they want to be stupid. Let their stupidity show. They wanted the spotlight. Eh? The spotlight showed their imperfection. This is what they are. They wanted it. So now the spotlight is shining a light on their imperfection. Their stupidness. Their uh, lack thereof. All right? Not that I'm saying for me, uh, I will do a better job. Because this is not what the thing I'm passionate about. Like Megan and Harry, when they do the thing, they're passionate about the work that they do. Um, I, I get all of my passion, inspiration and energy from young people. And we will always say yes to, to becoming patron of a, of a charity that we, that we believe in and that we're incredibly passionate about. But I think in today's world, you have to be involved with, with things that make sense to where your passions lie rather than potentially turning up to a charity once a year. I don't I'm going to listen to with that comes a lot of responsibility, mm. which I take seriously. And at the same time, I think in these beginning few months and now being boots on the ground in the UK, I'm excited to just really get to know more about the different communities here, smaller organizations who are working on the same causes that I've always been passionate about under this umbrella. In my humble opinion, I don't even think Harry and Meghan consider those things as work because they enjoy doing it. So it becomes second nature to them. In some old videos, I've said I could see in their house during lunch, dinner, whatever, they're talking about the next project that they're going to do. It become like a, they enjoy it. That's all it is. They enjoy doing it. They find joy in helping other people. So it becomes second nature. It's not work for them. But these, you will know they don't enjoy doing it. They have to push themselves to do it. And then, hey, they want it spotlight. There it is. Spotlight showing their imperfection, their stupidness, their craziness, their laziness. All right, let's see here. Her husband, okay, uh, with that pick. Her husband didn't want Megan and the family. Heavy wanted okay he wanted harry to always be the third wheel without a family of his own but god had other plans okay i think william wanted megan in a sexual fashion and she said no or refused his advances i think so too i, I don't know if i said it like this in one video because i was trying to hold my mouth and i said something oh i was thinking if i did say it i don't remember but i was thinking i think okay they said harry to do something overseas or something like that and he took that opportunity to go over there and try to make advances on megan and megan probably told him no okay that's what i think and then when um harry came megan probably told harry that and i think there's some issues there i think so this is what i think happened yes harry said willie was obsessive with her shoes suit every man was and had the hats for her character she was the eye candy i believe including willie then what is it uh they said something like he he and um kate watched uh, the show or something like that no she couldn't it's not uh it's not in her nature <laughs> all right let's see some of these images they were able at one point to get along at the beginning and you know what I think as well I think there's um, it's hard to say I think Megan sort of understand the position that uh, what is it Kate is in knowing the 
not masculinity, that uh, maybe masculinity or uh, where the guys, uh, men and the family try to uh, suppress women and all of that. Maybe Megan understand Kate's uh, position over there where she cannot really express herself. And remember, Kate then grew up the same way in the same fashion that Megan did. Okay. I there's a video that I have on PYTE where I said uh, that video where I said they got what they wanted. Uh, I'll put the, the screenshot of my thumbnails. I forgot what I call it. Um, where the firm has what they wanted, which is Kate, right? Uh, she, I don't know, whatever they want out of her. She doesn't overshadow. She's uh, lesser of whatever she's not taking the spotlight away from william okay so pretty much that but there's megan who's being herself she grew up doing some of the things like i said at the beginning it doesn't even look like work for her so everything that she does it become overshadowed the other one because it's in it's in megan's nature to do some of the thing that she does in other words she doesn't know how to be someone else like uh, um, Oprah had said, to be 50% less of herself. She's always a hard worker. She always do uh, charitable work and all of that. So it's part of her, okay? So if Megan were trying to not do some of this stuff, it would be hard for her because it's always been like that for her. So Kate, who the mother probably raised her to be in that position, uh, I don't know, look pretty all the time, don't know how to do certain things. I don't know, whatever the way they raise her. Okay, go look at that video that I have. When um, I was thinking of making the video, every information was fresh in my head. It's there because um, I went to, I think, Virginia, Williamsburg uh, and Virginia. And I went to one of those stores where they were talking about things. And one of the things the top person said, and luckily I was recording it. And uh, there was like pianos or something. And she said, oh, uh, the lady, lady don't work, women do, or something like that. She's just to play the organ. She's not expected to operate that pedal herself. It can be moved to the side and the staff do that So, which means Kate will not be the one to do certain things, but the lady, like for instance, lady in waiting or something like that. Now we know uh, William's godmother was lady in waiting. I had to look it up. What the hell do they do? Pretty much is a maid, this kind of thing. All right. So they train Kate to be in that position. And this is why they don't have any problem with her. She keep her mouth shut. They do whatever. She's pretty much a doormat. They do whatever they want with her. But Megan, on the other hand, she knows her worth. She knows her values. She knows what she's all about. She doesn't take shit from anybody. All right. So, but at the same time, it's not like Megan went over there to take over. She stayed within boundary. You know, all the things like the copyright case and all the letters and all of that. She tried to stay within the boundary of the firm. This is why she was talking to Jason Knopf, asking information, how she should go about things. But instead, they lure her into doing something so they could backstab her. So it's not Megan's fault. And at the end of the day, she was like, I had enough. All right. She, you know, when... Um, she was trying to call the Daily Mail to court, you know, how the, the firm was trying to avoid that, knowing what we know now, because they had some deal with the tabloid for nobody to sue her, uh, to sue the, uh, the paper. So when Megan realized the firm is not helping her, she took herself out of the firm. Okay. She then used the lawyers of the firm. She took her own lawyer to do that. So all of this, okay. Kate is not built that way. She would not even know what to do if that was her. She would just accept it. Oh, whatever. 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 But things could have been different if all of them, you know, just just show respect. Just so the basic of respect. That said, they had none for Megan. So this is what we have now. What was it? Megan have said it. 
if they invite you to their table, whatever, they don't accept you or whatever, you create your own table. And there it is. She's creating her own table. And this is what's going on right now. And then they don't like that. All right, let's read some few more and then move. She didn't need to be the bigger person. She just needed to be a nice person. That's it. Just nice. The basic respect. That's it. Instead of being so entitled and thinking Megan, an accomplished person, she adored on TV, was beneath her. Megan was extremely nice to her, took her to watch Serena's game. Megan is very congenial and kind. Okay, there's this. I don't, I'm not going to click on it. KK Kate was too full of herself. That's for sure. Okay, my heart broke when I rewatched the Sussex's engagement interview after they left for North America and the ensuing fracas. Megan described Will and Kate as wonderful and almost certainly hoped for Kate to become a sister. It must have broken Megan's heart along with every else. I guess everything else. Uh, the thing is that they did the same thing to Princess Diana. They welcome her. Okay. When Princess Diana is talking about when she first, um, they, when she was dating uh, Charles, how nice they were to her. But until she got married, everything changed. It's like being sucked in. Just people pushing mm -hmm. and then people pulling. All in the same direction. So you're being what? Pushed by family? Were yeah, they? my family looked great. And so did my friends. And so did um, Charles's family. They liked me. They were very good to me. <clears throat> when I was a guest. What was that mean? We used to change when I was a daughter and my positions changed. Same thing. Same thing as Princess Diana. They keep on saying, oh, Megan is trying to be, Megan is not trying to be Princess Diana one bit. She's trying to be herself. But the treatment they're giving Megan is the same treatment as Princess Diana. All right. Uh, my heart, okay, I read that. Could never ever happen because KKK Lee has been groomed to always be in competition with other women, including Paper. She's a mean girl. Well, she met her match. You know who's her match? Um, what's the one? The consort. Queen consort. Because she knows how to play the game. Now, God forbid if Charles pass away before her, we shall see her, uh, William, take care of her. Not Kate. The, the other one. The, the queen consort right now. Okay? Because most of all, because she's inherently racist. Yeah, look at the brother. Uh, when, um, what is it? He was using... The, that racist, whatever, was it swastika thing she, he was selling or something? Whatever. Uh, well, I'm reading that the, the mother's party business uh, went bankrupt or they sold it or something. Okay, Kate Middleton, long-standing rival with Pippa, laid bare, fear being eclipsed. <laughs> Guess what? I think Pippa is in a better position than she is because uh, Pippa is not in um, the public eye like uh, Kate, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> They both are same mediocre, but at least the spotlight is not on paper to see the mediocrity. But I believe there was some stuff the the uh, the squad put out that people had said, "Can you smell? How did that go again? Can you smell what? Some nonsense? Or can you? S it was so ridiculous. I wish I remember how it was, but but uh, it had to do with the senses, and it sounds so ridiculous." Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and her sister people are said to have had a long-standing rivalry uh, that find its root and ah, that's the day. As much as we may not like Kate, but I don't believe it. Kate, Kate found walkabout with Harry and Megan, one of the hardest things she's ever had to do. Whatever it is, God, they all are baggage for God. Harry and Megan are not over there. They could deal with their nonsense they put in their head. Megan looks so scared from the minute she was over there. I don't even think Harry and Megan. Uh, wanted to do this. I believe it was William. That's what they say. I don't know. It could be because they, these people lie about almost any simple things. They claim that it's William who called uh, Harry to for that walkabout. And I believe Megan and Harry was just going to stay in the background and just go to the funeral and then after that fly home. Because their trip over there was not about that. They came to do their business. This is the same tactic that they did this weekend. Uh, not this weekend, this past week when Megan was uh, supposed to receive her award. Okay. Uh, what is it? In the UK, the, it was very festive. Okay. It's the same blueprint. Harry and Megan went to do business for their archwell. 
okay uh, and uh to meet with uh, uh not archwell no 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 not archwell Le it's everything is individually actually invictus they came to do three things okay the first one was megan who did the speech for one young world which she did it went very well okay people were applauding her they you know she was getting all the adoration and all the things right the second one after that they went to germany to start off for invictus uh, Dusseldorf for this year okay that's what they went to do they did both of that now the red carpet the way germany received them the red carpet people stayed out there to meet them pictures and all of that it was too joyous for them okay it was too joy they hated that so what did they did somebody had to go under the bus sorry queenie you gotta go all right and then uh, charlie and uh three in a marriage was waiting too long to be in that position you gotta go put the sorrow into that thing okay turn the attention away from them to them now oh feel sorry for the queen do the walkabout and all of this all right so now the third thing that they were supposed to do which was well child they cancel it i don't know if they ever reschedule it or they did it online or whatever that was canceled because of the queen death <laughs> you tell you what you sound just like my my son archie really yeah, the same little squeaky voice i love it yeah. and then this all this nonsense that happened afterward happened and then they trash her throughout the week they trash her they trash her they trash her okay remember that this is fresh in my head that week everybody was screaming why why are they doing this to her why are they trashing her like that okay the week that was supposed to be i don't know how many days it was supposed to be okay the something that was so joyous for them they were getting getting all the adoration the applaud the cheering the spotlight was of them no they turn it and then they trash it now fast forward to what a year later or whatever from the queen's death to now it's not even a year yet is it uh, the queen died like in the september it's not a year yet okay so now megan was gonna receive the award for her uh her achievement she's been doing charitable work way before harry all right so it was a recognition for her she did that i did the video when she walked in and was it i think it was a three minute video all right the happiness that was going on the squad were happy the joyous tweet we were i was reading on twitter and all of that actually the 17th i have a list of tweet to share i still haven't get to it because uh i, I don't know maybe i will never get to it but I, I still have it so and i never recorded that's the thing here so that thing is the same vibe what happened leading to the queen's funeral okay this was a joyous, mo joyous moment for her. She got the spotlight. The headline after that was going to be about her. Okay? The headline about her award. This is what they did. They did the chasing afterward. Then the chasing become overshadowed of, the, of her work. That's all. They plan to do that. So whenever Harry and Meghan going to have something joyous, don't be surprised if something stupid like that happened. So they should learn okay but the thing is though it's a gift in disguise this is the way that i see it i'm not megan i'm not heavy i'm not the one who's going through the ordeal that they're going through from the outside looking at the like a, a, a i don't know like a picture like a picture okay from the outside what i see here what happened to megan over the week after her award it's like a gift they brought their nonsense to the u.s chasing them they refused. They did the thing. They spread their nonsense saying like it didn't happen. That's all you were seeing on, the, on Twitter, whatever. They dismissed what just happened. But when you see people that encountered what happened, when eyewitness was saying what happened, some radio station guys were saying what happened, okay, that's when some of the truth starting to come out from the mainstream media like uh, CNN. I think I have some clips of CNN saying what happened. Okay? So they overshadow her with their nonsense. But now NYPD is involved because the ordeal that Harry and Meghan were dealing privately. 
okay suing people for interfering in their private life okay so now nypd is involved okay that's the gift where the the authority okay is involved in that this probably gonna take much longer than we think because the investigation is gonna be deep in my humble opinion all right oh my god i'm on the first tweet and i'm taking that long yeah look at megan's face look at harry's face uh, uh, uh. Okay, I've noticed the same narrative exists for 15 years with Kate versus any woman. Kate versus Chelsea, she is demure versus wild chick. Kate versus Cressida, she is jealous of her sister. Kate versus your girls, they are mean to her. Kate versus Megan, Megan is evil. Either way, it's a pattern. Yeah, I mean, that's all it is. That's all it is. Now she got the spotlight. What is she doing with the spotlight? Nothing. Okay? And then they're calling her. They're trying to shift their mediocrity someplace else. But, hey, we see it. Okay? I mean, if I was in that family, I would want an ally and my brother-in-law's wife. Anyone could see how Camilla was going to try to take over after Queen Elizabeth's death. The scapegoating was so short-sighted aside from being, you know, wrong. Not only that, she's been in there. She knows how these people work, how they deal. But instead of befriended Megan, uh, what, they, what did she do? She joined them. Okay, I don't know. Maybe she was trying to see if they will accept her for... They have, I don't know. She's already in there. Why would she do that? And this is the thing that really got me into looking how the royal family is and into doing what I'm doing now. Because I knew... Megan as an actress never follow her I didn't even know about TIG I didn't even know about anything she does on social media zero but I know her existence that's the thing but um, when she married into the royal family occasionally randomly something pop up I will read okay so just to be informed I will read all right the first one was a negative thing uh, I brush it off read it second one read it again then i'm starting to think hmm why i never hear about her uh, and any form of things in the u.s why all of a sudden then third one maybe it got me a little bit more thinking and i want to do research okay and i think what really really got me is when she was pregnant the nonsense that was going on and that's why it got me on twitter and said let me see if other people see what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? And then come to find out. And I'm like, why are the women in the royal family are not speaking up to protect her? Because she was pregnant with Archie. And then when one of the tweets, I don't know if I recorded that. It will have to be on PYTE, my early recordings. I don't think I recorded it. But if I did, it will be on PYTE. And then I was reading and I was like, why all the other women in that family don't support her don't speak against the nonsense that is pewing on the tab on the tabloid to protect her and stuff like that then i find out uh what is sophia uh, sophie was uh had a miscarriage at some point and i'm like my god she went through it why is she not speaking or uh, protect megan or something because you as a woman, when you're pregnant, you know how it feels in comparison to another man. You will know how it feels. Why she didn't speak? Then I started looking more. And I went to look to see what was said on Twitter was actually true. Okay? Twitter could say many things. Uh, it was within the uh, comment of whatever it is that I was looking at. Within the comment, someone said, Sophie had a miscarriage. Then I was like, the question that I just said, why is she not speaking on behalf of Megan? Then I went to search to see if that comment is true. If Sophie did ha uh, had a mis miscarriage and I did find it was true. And th that I think I shared it. Then through that, I found out the husband of hers had a business. I went and I started recording. I think I have this on the video. Okay. Then I learned about audit production and all of that. All right. And one of the things that raised my radar with audit production is because they weren't doing that well. And then I saw 
how much money was pouring in at the beginning of the of urban production and then later on for it to go was it it wasn't uh, making any money for like seven years that way is a radar to me i was like what the f for the amount it was in million people were uh, i would not say donate or invest that's it was investing in, into that business other production and millions okay and then for seven years it wasn't making that much and you stay in business for seven years and then at the end we find out what is it was it 40 pound or something like that i don't remember how much it was uh, when they finally closed the uh, other production it was like an it was two digit number i don't remember i'm thinking 40 but it could be something different i was like what the f nobody raised a question what is it i think um one of the queen's thing i think like the army or something uh or for commercial was uh sponsoring that's it was sponsoring that uh that other production and all of that you could understand because the queen was the head of the army and whatever so they were sponsoring that thing and uh i was like that how could that be nobody questioned it and then a couple months later i was watching uh something about rachel Maddow talking about trump how uh in one instance uh he raised uh, the value of his property and in another instance he make it seem like he's not making money and then i put one and one together and i was like that's what happened over there okay i'm not into uh finance or anything like that but i put one and one together and i said that's probably what happened with uh other production and i learned to find more and more and what really really makes me do those videos every day because when you look at pyte it was pure entertainment okay but in the sense of doing little politics thing occasionally i will speak about politics the way that i see it if there's funny things about it i'll put a spin to it or whatever the i use that channel to put one or two things about the royal family that was happening on twitter one of the squaddy happened to stumble on my channel and ask for more okay they say oh i'm not on twitter can you put more things what's going on on twitter and that's how this become about okay at the beginning i wasn't really focusing too much on the substance but when i realized after that 200 okay after that 200 subscribers and uh, i realized yeah i should put the important things so the entertainment aspect of things sort of to uh at the window in a way but occasionally you will see the sense of humor of my uh, of my post or something like that because they have to be, you have to put a spin into things in order for you to see the stupidity that's going on. Uh, so that's how this channel become about. Well, this one here right now, it's a back of, of PYTE because when I started talking about important things and I saw how YouTube was treating it and I was like, oh, I better create a back, backup. As a matter of fact, I thought they were going to shut it down. The things that I was saying, it's hard to prove. It's hard to prove because I'm not into coding if i knew how to do coding maybe i could prove what i was suspect of i don't know it so i leave my humble opinion aside and whatever i suspected I, the only way i could interact it in order for me to still put information out was to create a backup and that's how we got this channel all right right now pyte is demonetized so I built this one up very quickly. It reached the numbers that I needed because people on PYTE move over over here. But I still want to keep this as the backup. I need to fix <laughs> PYTE so it could be monetized again. Many people will say, oh, you're chasing the money. I spend time on this, but money is not the only thing. It's not the only thing. So if I'm making those videos and then the thing is out there, okay you put content out there youtube give you incentive for it. why not i'm not that stupid okay but i'm not chasing to to get the go viral with putting stupid things out there all right or join the hate campaign and all of that that's not me if so if i'm putting something out hey, if whatever i went on too much oh my god i'm on the freaking first tweet let's read right there and then leave okay i don't understand the competition anyway catherine was always going to be queen uh, uh, look 
Everybody do, don't understand the mindset of these people. Even William. This is why I say, I don't think they understand their position. The crown, it's his. It's his from the time the sperm hit the eggs. It was his. Okay? But they don't get that. they doing things like, the, what is it, YouTube videos. They're doing, I, I don't understand. Okay? Anybody could explain to me why do they feel the nonsense that they're doing is important in comparison to what lay ahead for him. Okay, Catherine was always going to be queen and Megan understood that. She wanted to be seen, however, okay, as being just as competent, intelligent, savvy, and able to make a difference. Okay, I mean, whatever it is that they say in the engagement interview, it, it's all there. But I don't know, these people are... Def I don't know. I don't know how the mindset thing. Because if I was um, was the the lazy one, Kate, okay, knowing that I do not know how to do some of the things, Megan knows how. Guess what I would have done? I will partner with her. All you have to do just pitch me, and when the end of the thing is done, tell me what you need. Because in terms of classism or uh, the order of things over there. Uh, Kate is uh, in a higher position because she's going to be queen, right? So Megan understood that, okay? So she could advocate for Megan and the firm. Say, oh, Megan will need this to do certain things. And then it, at the end of the day, when everything is done, the firm, okay, the crown will look good. This is the thing the queen understood. This is one thing the queen understood, okay? And she told us, when she was uh, in South Africa, that speech that she, she made, you know, she will do the thing. I forgot how her speech went, but the crown, okay? I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. But I shall not have strength to carry out this resolution alone unless you join in it with me, as I now invite you to do. I know that your support will be unfailingly given. God help me to make good my vow, and God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. I can make my solemn act of dedication with the whole empire listening. I should like to make that dedication now. It is very simple. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. But I shall not have strength to carry out this resolution alone unless you join in it with me, as I now invite you to do. I know that your support will be unfailingly given she will always serve the crown. So all the things that the queen was doing, whether or not she likes Megan personally or hated Megan personally, we do not know. But she saw the advancement on Megan for the crown. Okay? So these two airhead they didn't see that. At least for the crown, if they had done that, show at least basic respect and understanding for the, of Megan for the crown. Because you have the other Commonwealth countries, okay? And that aspect alone, because Megan was not gonna be the queen. She was. I will advocate for her, her work. And then at the end of the day, okay, Megan even said that. She doesn't mind being in the background. Well, but with that said, for me, it's very important to, once you hit the ground running, even if you're doing it quietly behind the scenes, which is what I've focused my energy on thus far, is meeting with the right people, meeting with the right organizations behind the scenes quietly, learning as much as I can so that I can maximize the opportunity we have here to really make an impact. She said it. They failed to listen. Okay? She will do the, the hard work to maximize her potential, meet with the right people and all of that, and do the work in the background. And then, guess what? The laziest could have taken... Go cut the ribbons at the end of the day. All right. But no, I don't know. All right. Uh, she wanted to be saying, okay, I read that. She felt threatened and Megan could have helped her to become more articulate 
regarding advocating for causes she cared about, Diana, Diana knew she wasn't a natural public speaker and worked hard to improve. Catherine just pushed another woman out of the family, out of insecurity. I don't know. The blueprint that they should follow, they're not following it. What these people do, when there is a success out of something and they could benefit from it, they will manufacture that blueprint to their own liking instead of using it in a way where it will include people instead of divide people. Like for instance, there's a Princess Diana. Her blueprint was, which was mentioned in this tweet, she wasn't a good public speaker. What did she do? She got a coach to come and help her to do the speech. She understood her position and she was doing a good thing with it. Did Kate do that? She's not a good, uh, she's not a good public speaker. And English is her primary language. Guess what? Get someone to help her. These things are not easy. I'm not saying they are easy. And that's Megan. You know, in school in the United States, I don't, well, they're trying to mess up the system right now. I don't know if they still do that. Uh, I remember my son in third grade, they did that. But I, I haven't seen them do any project where they have to stand in front of the classroom to do things. I don't know if they do that. So this was the practice of things. To get people to be uh, at ease being in front of the public, in front of their classmates, to uh, show their work or whatever, to speak in front of them. These are things that were happening in the U.S. Do they still happen? I do not know. So Megan knows how to do that. It becomes natural with for her. And the thing what makes it easy for her, she's involved on all of the steps. So she doesn't really need, uh, how will I say that? Uh, uh, something written for her. Maybe she need bullet point to hit all the important marks. But in terms of writing a speech, that's how I will see it for her. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she does write a speech. I do not know. Because when she does those things, those uh, when she speak in front of people about her work, because she's involved, she knows what was happening behind the scene. So she just explained to people what was happening. That's all. And she make it look so freaking easy. Can I do that? Probably not. Most likely not. Am I passionate like her? No. This is the thing. She would have taught her, uh, what is it, Kate, how to do the same thing. Or maybe, guess what? I know M Megan would have made it so easy for her where Kate will probably would do maybe one or two sentences or something. It will just flow naturally, but Megan will do more of the speaking. And then on a simple term, uh, Kate will say certain things to make it seem like she's involved. We will never know if she was doing anything or didn't do anything because that's how it would have been. All right? But instead, they do the, the two hardest working people, the two people who were passionate about the, what the firm was all about, they kicked them out of here. And then now we get to see the imperfections of their stupidness. All right? So they got what they deserve the spotlight bring and perfection we are seeing them for who they are that's all uh, this is the last one okay it, it's not ego it's insecurity she knows that her only accomplishments in life are being prince william's wife and uh pg's mother uh what's that prince george prince george mother uh she's still uh, uh, unaccomplished nobody after 12 years of marriage megan's grand entrance into the royal family exacerbated her feeling of inferiority inferiority <sighs> i don't know but they raised them for that okay the system in the uk was meant for her that way all right the family the mom raised her to be that way next week okay i can imagine the difficulty in finding a soulmate in the climate harry was in nobody wanted to stick it through with him he knew the difficulties still made room for kate now kate uh people forget he was there before kate that's why he helped her why couldn't she return the favor to him this i could never i think this is one of the reasons that i truly i will never forgive her for that harry was that person who will stick up for her even i have that image where it's in french i think uh they were getting out of somewhere was it a train or something like that and william took the umbrella and just walked away all right and then kate stayed behind and harry was uh, behind i'm wondering if this is when they went to that french thing harry was mentioning in the book but anyway so there's 
heavy in the in the train with Kate calling William, what about your wife? Come and get the, you know, your wife, you know, it's raining. Share the freaking umbrella with your wife or something. All right. So, I don't know. This is what the picture told me. Okay. I'm just reading the picture or something. Just look on the screen. I'll put that image. All right. So heavy literally put the red carpet for Kate. Even when they were marrying, I have that image of Harry fixing uh, Kate's uh, whatever veil and all of that. Okay, Harry was willing, was more than welcome. This was not returned. This is unforgivable what she did to Megan because she should have at least returned that. Okay, but Harry is a, be a better person. Looking in her eyes like she was expecting a kiss just because he may have shagged her doesn't mean Megan should have lie in bed with Will Bat. Megan is a decent woman who knows her self-worth. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is what they wanted. You know, share their spouses or whatever. Maybe she's all about that. I don't know. But uh, when Harry got his, Harry was like, what's mine is mine. Okay? What's yours? <laughs> I don't know. Could be mine too. But uh, Harry was not sharing. I, I, I Something happened. Yeah. And then they turn it into something bigger because just because uh, he didn't get what he want and he turned it into whatever it is. I don't know. Make it a campaign to destroy her. That's what it is. Okay. Because uh, she is a uh, Karen. Okay. Mean girls got to be mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's what makes me not like this woman. Harry made her welcome in the family and was there for her when William was busy with his friend and all she did always create problems with all of Harry's, is it girlfriend? What GD? Okay. Uh, it's well documented. KKKD was the one person that could have made Megan feel welcome just like Harry did for her. But Willi Willie's jealousy and her own insecurities and short-sightedness cause the situation they are in now. Katie will uh, will find herself alone at some point and not too distant future okay she will <laughs> i don't know there's that narrative going on out there because they're already making the case for william uh a reason for william to divorce her and she should learn for what's happening right now um with uh, charles and camilla look how they uh get princess diana out of the way so she better be ready because they already have uh, the kids for the firm Okay, the same way they tried to do with Harry. Harry was supposed to be the firm property. And Harry was like, nope, you don't own me. Uh, and then left. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a miracle might happen to those other kids. I don't know. Uh, she was close to him and had the hats, hats for him and some photos. She couldn't, she couldn't take her eyes off of Harry and always seemed so relaxed in his company. This contributed to his whole situation, in my opinion. Okay, Harry... Okay, there's some good comment here. Harry always stood up for her. That's why I can't stand Kate. Yep, I, I think the squad are on the same page. That welcome, that uh, red carpet Harry had provided for her and then it wasn't returned. This is what really, uh, uh, really said about the whole situation and made the squad don't like her. That for sure, that I don't like her for that for sure. Because Harry opened the door for her, but she closed the door right back after her. She didn't leave the, uh, she didn't do the, the same thing for Megan. Okay, she didn't return the favor. Okay, that was Kate before children when there was still a small, when there was still a small risk Harry could become king. Now it's Kate's after children where her future is uh, assured. Okay, I think she wanted him for herself because of the way William was treating her. Harry was a gentleman to her and she didn't want another woman taking that attention away. That's too bad because Harry doesn't belong to you. You got the crown, so stick with the crown. Okay, she can't stand it that Megan got the best Windsor of them all. What was it? Harry was a diamond and a rough. Okay, Harry was a diamond and a rough. Look how the tabloid portray him. He's a junkie, he smoke, even William in interviews. William will say he will smoke, he will drink, he will this. Okay, he was a diamond and a rough. Meanwhile, this is why I cannot understand how Harry become get himself out of that toxicity because he by himself in there, everyone around him, anyone who marry into, they just remove their brain. Okay, I'm talking about people who marry into the royal family. It seems like the minute they marry into the royal family, they remove their brain, throw it in the garbage, 
and then the firm put their whatever it is they put in their in the head okay but there's megan they tried to do the same with her megan was like nope you're not removing my brain okay so harvey on the other hand he was in there he was trying to be a better human being he was trying but none of them was helping him all of them was actually pulling him down it's think about that the image okay there's heavy swimming in a deep swimming pool okay now harry's trying to go swim above water there's there's the firm underneath the water pulling him down think of it that way okay this is what harry just got out of and harry was able to get out of it and there's megan who was above water extend her arm and pull him out of the water that's what i see here and Harry sees that. Harry probably was like, I'm interpreting. All this is my humble opinion. Um, Harry was like, uh, um, what is it? Megan, um, what is it? Megan would, uh, uh, like, thanking her for getting him out of there. Uh, I mean, and the whole point is Harry, you know, decided to leave when they start the things that they were inflicting, okay? The pain and suffering uh, that they had inflicted into harry which he had endured because that's all he knows right but he knows the feeling of it he know it wasn't good it was a, a pleasant feeling but when that started to extend it toward megan knowing what he knows about megan before they got married the valley girl kind of lifestyle the cheery person her friends the fun that they had and all of that and when she, when he realized this is gonna be disappear nope he was like i'm out of here you're not gonna take that part out because that's one of the thing okay megan have many things many 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 branches of her that she could do she could be very sporty she could be very elegant she could be very sassy she megan could do all okay but that part that silliness that fun exciting and all of that to be at behaving like a child and have fun this kind of thing Harry did not want that out of her because the firm was crushing that. That's what I see. The minute that happened, it was inflicting into Megan. Harry was like, nope, I'm getting my family out of there. This is one of many things that I adore of her. They're not going to take that away. That's what I think. You could see Harry as well when he goes to engagement, how he interact with people, the silliness sometimes he put to make people happy, feel comfortable around him. This is the same thing with Megan, okay? So when he saw this was gonna disappear in front of his eyes, nope, you're not gonna take that away. Megan had cool put all hats, okay? And she will do it perfectly in perfect fashion. So that's the way that I see it, all right? I don't know and uh harry you know and thank god megan was able to see the human being within harry because remember when uh they were trying to match them up one of the things megan said is he nice okay he wants uh she wanted a nice person a nice person to be with all right is he nice yes he's a prince he's that but is he nice this was the thing okay so if he wasn't nice he didn't want she didn't want to do any part of it okay her mental well-being is uh, monumental so that's that let's move on oh my god i don't have that many tweets to share with you but i'm going on <sighs> i'm almost an hour all right let's see here what the fab five charles preparing to educate lily and archie to live a life of duty what the f what the f are you kidding maybe that was their plan over the weekend I mean, I'm saying we can, I'm telling you, since Tuesday after the award show that Megan went, uh, that thing went really quick. I'm saying over the weekend. It wasn't over the weekend. It was since what? Couple days. Five or maybe, yeah, five days at least. They probably wanted those kids to be orphaned so they could come up. Oh my God, there's one video. I don't, did I say it in the video? But at least I was thinking it. I haven't edited that video because because I remember thinking, I don't know if it's in a video already. I remember thinking that, um, or saying in one of my podcasts, that even though, knock on wood, this may not happen. We're praying for it. It never happened. But in case, because you just never know. 
something what just happened on Tuesday after the award where there was a chase where it could have end any other way. All right, but thank God Princess Diana came to. I truly believe Princess Diana came to for them. Where Miss Doria, Harry, Megan, and one car, something could have happened. Okay? The ones that could have looking after the kids. We already know Harry and Megan do not want their kids to be raised in the firm. The world should know that. What the F is, is that their plan? To get rid of their parents and take, take the kids? Are you freaking kidding me? This is where Harry and Megan, that should give them, this was a lesson. A gift and a lesson for them to learn. Not only to learn to manage with their security, and I think they did well, their security. And then the other thing, all three should not be in the same um, car. Okay, that's another thing. And the other thing is to write a will. They probably have it, but it is a must. Write it. Put it in video. Put it in writing. Put it in audio. Put it in all forms of communication. Okay? What you want. If something were to happen to you, where would you want or who should be looking after your kids? Okay? I believe the video, the audio, the, the very most important thing, the writing. Okay, the will and writing with your signature, with your blood, whatever you want to put it along with videos. Let people know. Or maybe after you write, you sign the, the will, you read it in a video. You read it in a video in front of a lawyer or in front of whoever. Okay, pen around the room and say, look, nobody's putting a gun in my head to, to read what I'm reading in front of the video or something like that. It is your own will, what you want, who you want the kids to be uh, to be raised by it is a must it is a must because those people are evil evil okay because they want to remain to continue okay princess this is why i like princess Anne. she let you know they're not willing to change one bit and when we think about this this duty this role that the king has taken on what kind of king do you think he'll be? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what you're getting, because he's been <laughs> practicing for a bit. <laughs> and I don't think he'll change. Okay? We know the stupidity that's going over there, the pain and suffering they love to inflict on people. We know that. And Princess Diana, uh, I'm saying Princess Diana, uh, Princess Anne confirm it. They are not willing to change. You know what you're getting. Princess Anne said that. She told us. Okay, so what they want to do now, because people are not accepting their stupidness, because nobody wants to applaud stupidity, they want to use the kids to overshadow them, okay, to mark them, the same thing you'll be seeing, you see, just go read the headlines about Harry, okay, go read headlines about Harry when Harry was in the institution, okay, just think of that and then put the kids there, how they will spend that, okay. Every single day you will hear nonsense about Harry's kids. Okay? And then the other ones in the background doing their pedals, doing whatever, bags of money, doing all sort of things, sleeping around. You will, all this will go unnoticed. Okay? They're going to do all their nonsense. But meanwhile, they will be using the kids for all the distraction that is happening. So therefore... Harry and Megan should write a will and put specifically or maybe a specific will who should take care of the kids if anything were to happen. Put the first person, second person, third person, fourth person or whatever. Okay? And then whatever wealth they accumulate at a certain age, they should have access to it. Meanwhile, while they're youngest, this thing is shut, closed, sealed. Nobody touched it. Okay, at the end, or maybe with their money, whatever they have, for their schooling, for whatever, every month something come out of that, whatever money they have, okay, to take care of their things. So th whoever's taking care of them don't have to use their own money or whatever it is. Uh, they know how to do this. But I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying this needs to be written 
so those people don't come and grab those children because this was the first thing i think they would have done the minute that happened sure they saw oh i'm so sad harry and megan is gone though they were very be uh, well loved in the family all the things people want to hear but meanwhile they want to grab the kids and then overshadow with their bs in the background okay this is the pattern of these people they want to continue doing their pedal kind of behavior, bag full of money, sleeping around, getting up in the middle of the night, jumping from bed to bed with different women and all that. That's what they want to do. Meanwhile, the kids will be used as a distraction for their nonsense. Okay. So Harry and Megan need to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. After everything the UK media has said and done and I think this is the last thing Harry and Meghan would allow to happen. Well, guess what? If there is no will, it is written, it will happen. They will grab it. They have the money. They have the power. They have everyone and every post to make sure they will grab the kids. If Harry and Meghan do not have a will, don't have something put in writing. Okay? So, let's see here. What is that? Uh... Megan Marco asked to give King Charles Thomas Marco access to Archie. Oh, please. This is BS. This is pure BS. Okay? Nah. Archie and Lily. Archie and Little Bet are the children of Prince Harry and Megan Marco. Was it? May 19, 2023. That's recently. What? A couple days ago. The news. From Louis to Archie. Meet a new generation. It does fall upon Charles to educate as they prepare to live a life of duty. We needed that as much as possible. They represent the future of the royal family. The Fab Five, the King's Grandchildren, Saturday at 9.20 on Channel 5. Oh, please. From <laughs> you know what? They don't have access. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? They don't have access of Archie, any recent image. And guess what? Netflix images, they don't have access to that. Me Megan and Harry full, um, have full control of this. So they can't use that. Only this picture because when they went... <laughs> That's the only thing I see that's funny. This is not going to happen. The Fab Five, please. The King's grandchildren, please. He wants to look good using the kids. But Harry's not. Nope, you're not having access to my kids. He was playing over. So what is this now? From Louis to Archie, meet a new generation. It does fall upon Charles to educate as they prepare to live a life of duty. We need them there as much as possible. They represent the future of the royal family. The Fab Five, the King's Grandchildren, Saturday. Okay, it's playing over again. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, I should add, after everything that family has said and done, it will be the last thing Harry and Meghan will allow. Okay, is it a, is it a last ditch effort to regain favor in the US? Nah, it's not gonna happen. But it's like, quote, I still will never accept their mother, but if I can get my hands on the kids, it might help me. Mm-hmm. Okay, gosh, who knows? I find it very interesting. The other three kids weren't mentioned. <laughs> I know. That's, I, I guess people, other people says that. It says from Lily to Archie, if you're, okay, if you're speaking about five kids, you normally start with the youngest or oldest and work your way to the other end. But, <laughs> but to only mention Lily and Archie is very odd. Yeah. Okay, for obvious reason, they include the Sussexes to enable increased interest and viewership of the documentary. Guess what? If people want to know anything about the kids, they will have to watch the Netflix. And you see, they have the only image of Archie. What? Archie just had his birthday. Archie is four years old. This is a toddler, um, toddler Archie. They don't have any <laughs> recent image of him. And if they were to use the cat, they probably did ask... Uh, permission to use maybe some of the images they have of Archie and uh, Netflix they probably said no okay probably just like when they want people to read an article about Kate so they somehow stick Megan in the headline okay are they talking about the same Charles who took Harry's safe mm-hmm oh let's read some more okay okay whatever is on the screen uh, are they talking about the same Charles who took Harry's safe haven aka Fragmore from their parents or they attempting to rewrite history again as if Harry and Meghan will allow that mm-hmm right they never allow that they have to be a lot of apolo apologizing in order for that to happen I thought they were happy 
he has always ignored the kids and aren't they even ashamed that he has no picture of his so-called dearest grandson other than when Archie was a baby. He was saved by his coronation this year. The shame of posting that picture again. I know, right? This is what I was saying. They don't have any recent one. Okay, Archie and Lily very much should be excluded from this narrative has he even met lily okay no one knows that answer although i know there's a lot of people that claim to know a lot more than just that there's that okay let's move on again i thought this recording was gonna be very quick it's already 2 208 a.m all right so someone is talking about it again same thing but a different tweet okay uh what the f is this uh, UK media is sick. King Charles the Cruel will never get access or his hand on Archie and Lily if there is a guy, especially since he removed baby Archie's security protection, F. Charles and um, Camilla, I believe, and company. Uh, by God's grace, Archie and Lily will never know him. Okay, so I just listened to this. Okay, credit of screenshots and videos to she gave where she got it from. Okay, some has some have asked me what will happen if the kids were orphaned. First, by God's grace, it shall not happen. Second, I'm sure Harry and Meghan have guardians appointed in their estate planning. Mm-hmm. That's right. Guess Dovia is first. Ashley of friends second. U United States law is likely to dictate as kids are in the United States. Harry and Meghan knows UK is crazy. <laughs> is crazy. That's what I'm saying with, with the will. And this is why I said uh, next time all three of them should not be in the same car. Okay? Should not be in the same car. Remember the palace will move Megan's name from Archie's birth certificate? Alright, I can't believe they got away with that shit. Megan is too kind to them. I can't tolerate much abuse, but when it touches my children, I will fire everything and everyone down to protect my children. Sick people. I can't be bothered with their nonsense. <laughs> Those GRF usually get me. <laughs> uh, they need to stop trying to make fab. <laughs> they need to stop trying to make fab. Any numeric that phonetically start with F thinks it's like last decades. Okay, right? Sicko and their obsession with other people's children. Yeah, they just want someone to overshadow their BS. Okay, respectfully, if Harry and Meghan decided to repair the relationship with the royal family, that's their decision. Harry has one parent left, and I hope they reconcile, family make mistakes, and do how about things, but family can also heal and move forward. Oh my God, how much, how much can Harry take? Look what happened over the weekend. Did they even come out and say anything? If they did, I didn't come across it. Okay, and then Harry is suing the tabloid, which his family have already take money from to shut their mouth. And then there's Harry. They, oh my God, how much can he take? Um, okay, I know family is not always blood because this, I don't know, this is not family to me. Well, it's not my family in the first place. Thank God, thank God. But um, for Harry, in terms of bloodline, my goodness. Lily is an American citizen. If Charles saw her during the Jubilee, that's the only time he saw her. She doesn't know him. Archie left when he was seven months old. I'm certain Harry and Megan have a plan in the event that something happens to the both of them for their children. Yep. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one who said that. I don't know which video I said it. And I don't even remember editing that video. But I know I've said it already. I've said that. That they need to do uh, some sort of a... Uh, a will who will look after the kids that way the uh what do you call this the the firm don't come and try to scoop everything including their wealth okay if they come and scoop whatever harry and megan have built the money the arch well everything that has in there they will wipe it clean okay and claim there was nothing they'll make sure to give you some nonsense to hold on as if there was no money in it okay and then they packet it themselves Okay, exactly. And Megan isn't dumb. She saw and sees how they mistreated her. She wouldn't chance these people ever having access or charge of her kids. Okay, a PR piece for Charles and his second wife. Charles pull Archie's security. He doesn't care about him. And then allow little Beth to be baptized in the UK. He's a horrible grandfather to Archie and Lily. Okay, exactly. Charles only knows how to use and abuse. There is nothing left that's good in him anymore. That's how I feel now. 
uh, though my mother pities him. Nah, there's no pity for this. He's just a baggage for God. It's just about a ma uh, matter of time for him to see his karma. Because this guy, what he did to Princess Diana, I don't can't believe people will still accept him after what he did to Princess Diana. Okay, the only way I would have somewhat, okay, um, okay, uh, how will I say? I will somehow have some sort of uh, excuse, Charles, okay? If from the get-go, he knows very well he did not love Princess Diana, but his parents did not want him to marry Camilla, okay? If he had put that right in front, right at the beginning, and told Princess Diana, his intention and if princess diana did agree because i'm sure there's plenty of women in the uk who will do that okay F to have access this kind of thing in terms of social class because princess diana from what i've heard she was already up there okay whatever social uh, status that she had she was already up there so i'm sure there's other white women what do they call this the rose whatever will want to have that access if from the get-go pointed out to princess diana and said princess diana I'm, I'm not really in love with you i just want you to have children for the firm <laughs> put it in that any way that will be somewhat more um less uh cool okay and tell her your intention if she agreed guess what fine whatever happened happened she would know that this is what i'm here for i will create kids for the uh, for the firm and whatever and then at the same time, as a counter, she will say, okay, fine, I'll be the front person, but in the back, I need to have my man, okay? Everyone needs someone to love them, okay? I could be the front person, we don't do anything, we just, I produce the kid, we sleep once or twice, okay, if I'm pregnant after those two times, but yay, bravo, you know, the kids for the firm, and after that, let me have my fun with my man in the background, that person will never see the image or whatever, okay, but that person will be in my bed whenever I want. <coughs> Let me not go there because sometimes I'm sorry. This is human nature. I don't know. You could be 60 or 70. Sometimes you need somebody, a companionship, okay, to do certain things. But he didn't do that. He didn't do that. He misled her. And then on top of that, that's the extra level of cruelty with Charles. Okay. He didn't want, he didn't really love her. Whatever loves men. We already know about that. Okay. Have kids ignore her mistreated her and then put another another level of cruelty in her smear her name on the tabloid make her seem like she's crazy she's that she's that meanwhile you're doing your thing in the background okay this is a level of cruelty that was unnecessary unnecessary okay or maybe after you have your kids uh you say okay i'm not really in love with you you could have your man okay but I'm going to be with Camilla in the background, but the people don't have to know that, but give her the permission. Okay. You still stay married because the firm is a, is about performance. Okay. Keep that in mind, people. It's about performance. The people in the UK love performance. It's being played in front of them every day. They took their brain out and put whatever it is that they put in the UK's brain. Some, okay. Some they're performing for the people. Okay. So for the performance of things, okay, fine. You have your two kids, but don't mistreat her. Don't disrespect her on, on national television, on the paper and all form of media and say, okay, I have my kids now. Okay. We're done with, I'm not really in love with you anymore. Or maybe say something that's somewhat less rough. Okay, you could have your man. We could still stay married. I'm going to be seeing Camilla. You could have your man. That's it. Okay, but when we go into engagement and we do certain things, okay, you just come and accompany me. That's it. That's it. Everybody will be happy. But no, they love to do the cruelty. All this nonsense. All right, so at the end of the day, you want everything, you most likely will end up with nothing. And I think it's leading that way because people are starting saying they don't want them. Okay, did I read this?
Vanaka. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.